unconscious with broom. All right, Oren, thanks. The captain says Mom left the yacht this morning. Oh, I should go back to Mrs. Cook's? No, 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 no. Uh, her things are already being delivered to the, her new house here in town. Uh, you're gonna need the address, Vivian. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I'll be there in a jiff. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you may not be able to get in. I mean, they weren't sure how long ago Mom left. Why don't you... you know, why don't you just take the key and do that? Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, one more thing, Vivian. I haven't seen any Mom about my wedding, all right? It's kind of a surprise. Oh, give me a break. I haven't even unpacked my stuff already. You're thrusting me into a compromising situation. Oh, please. For old time's sake. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Thank you. about half an hour before Mom knows everything. Uh, darling, maybe not even that long. Take a look at the society column. Former Houston socialite weds almost heir. All the details about that are in this. I know, I know, Dennis, but we had to expect this sort of thing. I mean, anything involved with Alex's public gossip. Oh, come on, darling, look on the bright side, all right? I mean, there's no need to tell Iris right away, is there? She'll learn soon enough. So I think that you and I should just uh, close up shop and start working on that honeymoon. Someplace exotic, huh? Mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, mm. this... No, 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 I've got to take care of this. Dennis, what a time to go running to Mommy. No, listen, my mother's not going to interfere with us. She has her life and we have ours, okay? But I, I can't go out of my way to hurt her. <sighs> Get dressed. Yes, sir. No, Alex, I, I don't understand. I hope you know that I had better reasons than fear of Elliot for not publicly claiming Dennis my son. I assumed you didn't want Elliot to take Dennis from us. Well, how could he? Dennis wasn't mine. Elliot was right about that. He was there, he raised him. For a little while. Well, it's more than I could do. You gave him his life, Alex. That's not enough. There's more to fatherhood than that. I can't suddenly demand Dennis's affection based on the grounds of biological fact. Nothing could alienate him more. Well, he might resent it I, first. I have to earn Dennis's respect by degrees, not by not laying ambush. All right. I suppose you know best. I just thought, well, there's so much room in this house. Look, I understand your disappointment. It's, it's not the way we pictured, but Dennis has grown up. And he can be our son now, but not our ward. You'd think I'd learn. Dennis reminds me incessantly. Witness our contretemps over Paige, Marshal. Of course, he's been saying he was grown since he was 12. Well, it's going to be very lonely in this big house when you are well enough that I can't keep you home. <laughs> Now, I have an idea about that. I think it's time that we went down to the airport and picked up your surprise. Now? Mm hmm What is that? Who could be coming here? Well, there's one way to find out. No, no, Alex, stay back. Keep away from the door. Vivian, you frightened us half to death. Don't you know what we've been through? Now, look, I will not put up with this sort of... Vivian? Well, aren't you glad to see me? <laughs> yes. No. Yes, I <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Vivian, I confess, 
I've missed you. I know. You do? Well, you told me so in all of your little notes. And that present you sent at Christmas, that was just lovely. Did you get my thank you note? Yes. Rena sent it to me. Oh, yeah. That's the address that I had for you. You just look beautiful as usual. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Vivian Garo, my husband, Alex Wheeler. Well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. Wheeler. Welcome oh. to Houston, Vivian. What ever possessed you to come to Houston to visit me? I'm not a visitor. I'm the surprise. Really? What do you think? Oh, I think it's oh. wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you both. <laughs> I thought you were booked on a later flight. Oh, uh, I was, I was, but I thought I would come early so I could fix your breakfast. Isn't that sweet? Breakfast for y'all, I mean. I've been studying Texas. Um, practically bilingual. Studying? Where? On a TV. <laughs> And Rudy was helping me out a little. Oh, my, Rudy. How is he? <laughs> well, I'll tell you all about that later. <laughs> How about I fix some breakfast for you? How about some hominy grits and chili? Oh, a nice mm. omelet will do, baby. An omelet? Well, you can practice your Texas cooking later, all See. right? Where'd you get the key? Oh, I stopped by Mrs. Cook's house, and that's the only address that I had for you. Why don't you read this paper? I could discuss that with you later. Rena doesn't have a key to this house. Where's the kitchen? Dennis is the only one who has a key. Did you see him this morning? And, and, do you have chickens? Or do you have to buy your eggs? Vivian, you're hiding something. Oh. Uh... Well, feels like home already. Why did I do that? You've never needed reason to always hide with Dennis against me. Well, you just pierce me to the quick, I think. Don't deny it. It's true. Now, did you or did you not? Well, what exactly do you mean by see? Did you lay eyes on him? Did he appear before you? Did you look upon his person? Well, what do you mean by his person? Oh, I get it. Paige Marshall was with him. Is that it? Well, he wasn't alone. He was single. He wasn't alone. He was single. Um, Vivian, I'd like to talk to Iris alone, please. What do you two know? I'll get that. Again, I didn't tell. Thanks, Vivian. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh, no. What did I? I am wit. <laughs> yes, sir. Good morning, boss. Man, I hope you appreciate the OT. You know, burn the overtime. I mean, I ain't trying to get rich off you or nothing like that. But, yeah, but... I, I got one right here, page twelve. Listen, you gotta admit, boy, I've been a hard-working man and then some. Well, if I don't get home in time for my beauty rest, I'm gonna hear from it from uh, Miss Marshall when I show up for work tonight. Yeah, she'd like to take my head off. Last time, she tried to dock me every half second I was late. Hold on a second. Hey, 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 button it, will you? Yeah, I see it. This right guy you hired, his employment form gives as a reference a Miss Marshall at the top of the world club. Same one. Hey, uh, that, that battle axe you work for, her name Paige Marshall? <laughs> That's what I was telling you. And, uh, this dude she married, you know him, Dennis, uh, Carrington? Yeah, I know. Poor sucker. Yeah, same one. He knows him both. Put him on. Okay. Boss wants to ask you some questions about him. The boss? The dude from California? Mm -hmm. Well, how come? Hey, what do I know? Maybe he's a friend of the family. Here, get on the horn. Mm -hmm. 